That's faded. That's tarnished. Look at him. So it's pretty clear that accessories are becoming pretty popular now. If you were already into fashion, you'd probably already know how important it is to accessorize your outfits well. But uh, it's like seasoning on eggs, you know. A regular egg is, it's alright, it's fine. But you throw some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder on there, and you just bust as soon as you touch that egg with your tongue. It's kind of like a universal experience. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how you can accessorize your outfits, make them a little better. And we'll get started with the first one, I guess. So the first way you can accessorize is going to be jewelry. Jewelry aesthetic does depend on your outfit. So an opium outfit might require a thick chain, you know, gothic rings, stuff like that. But then a minimal outfit might not even require a necklace at all, maybe just a simple bracelet and a ring. An overall list of jewelry pieces you might want to gather are going to be, we got number one, necklaces, number two, bracelets, number three, rings. You know, you put them all together and, you know, it just makes an outfit look a little better, a little nicer, kind of just ties everything up, makes it more presentable. Like imagine this outfit, just plain, no jewelry whatsoever, just no hose. No girls, no bros, no money. That's pretty much what would happen to your outfit if you didn't have any jewelry or accessories. So, just keep that in mind. However, when it comes to material, you want to stick with stainless steel. Even if it's gold, they'll just paint it gold. But the material stainless steel is good because it's water resistant. Won't tarnish. It's not going to turn your fingers green like you fingered a pulk. But yeah, some materials like alloy, zinc, copper... Uh, sterling silver even it's gonna turn your fingers green bro that's why it's like two bucks for a ring when it comes to color of jewelry though it, that is up to you they say that a cool undertone matches with silver and a warm undertone matches with gold now if you look at me i'm pretty black i'm not the most pale asian you've ever seen that's for sure i've got a little color to me so i mean my vein is blue but yours might be red <laughs> but yeah apparently i'll throw up like a chart or whatever they call it to uh wear whatever jewelry you want nobody gives a damn uh, i personally am a fan of silver i never checked my undertone until now which is blue and i think that is like the cool undertone or whatever but still i just like silver by the way you're supposed to check your wrist veins not your johnson now when it comes to buying your jewelry that depends on your budget where you buy them from if you're you know kind of down bad in the bank account right now <laughs> You could, um, you could shop at Timu, Hershey, Aliexpress, DH Gate, all those Chinese little boy manufacturing companies. And if you think you're ethically better, then you can shop at Amazon. But I'm just letting you know, it is the exact same piece, probably. They're just drop shipping it to you with faster shipping. So, congrats, buddy. You're so politically correct. Anyways, yeah, um, there's like instagram brands and stuff but i'm pretty sure those are drop shipped too it's hard to find a good quality jewelry piece that's not like six hundred dollars that isn't drop shipped but i mean you could probably find it out there somewhere i got these from amazon and then from a friend's store um but what you really want to focus on when you're learning how to use jewelry is learning how to stack jewelry like your bracelet kind of you want to match it to your fingers i wear one ring on this hand since i have bracelets on i wear two rings on this hand or three sometimes because i don't have any bracelets you want to learn how to stack your chains, you know what I'm saying? Also, when it comes to jewelry, uh, some guys like to wear earrings. I personally don't have any, but I do think they look pretty cool if you can pull them off right. So yeah, you could check out some earrings. Uh, you could look into getting piercings. I kind of like that bad boy aesthetic, but like they get the piercing on the eyebrow, maybe like a nose or a lip piercing. That'd be pretty fire. The next accessory I'd recommend is a carabiner. I hope I'm not offending anybody. It's kind of like saying Arnold Schwarzenegger. This was a meme on TikTok a while back where like you throw a keychain on your fit and all of a sudden, oh, I'm into fashion, you know, and you do that little pant fluff. And I mean, to be fair, this is because the carabiner or I don't, whatever, that keychain uh, adds to your outfit. I mean, it is understandable. You can put pretty much anything on there. You can put your Lego figure. You can put your keys to your Lambo, your G-Wagon. You can put your AirPods, you can put your hat, you can put your putter. You can put pretty much anything on your keychain. And it adds that little spice of uniqueness and I'm so different. You know what I'm saying? You can use this chance to unleash your inner persona. But yeah, my keychain personally is still pretty plain. I'm still working on it. 
I just have some things a few friends gave me, including which a, a soju bottle is one of them, so people think I'm an underage alcoholic. And my AirPods, so that's pretty cool. But I am working on it, you know, just relax. I'm going to build my own Lego character, put it on there. You know what, I could just use the stock one, it's yellow. Next up, we've got headphones. It's going to make you a nonchalant dreadhead without having dreads. So just nonchalant. This kind of adds to your aura, makes you a little more mysterious, even if it's not intentional. But don't wear them when you're out with your friends. I don't understand why people do that. It's like, bro, we're hanging out. Can you take your AirPods out, dude? Save that good boy mommy ASMR for later. Like, let's talk about the economical and political state of the world right now. Guys, I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm a little too chalant. Anyways, yeah, it kind of just gives this like unique vibe that you really like music and that that's your personality and it gives you the, the right to say what you know about insert artist. Usually people just say that about Bruno Mars or some artist that has made the top billboard charts like 30 different times. It's kind of like when an Asian guy goes up to you and he's like, what y'all know about Keshido, you know what I'm saying? But for headphones, to get back to it, you could go either wired or wireless, doesn't really matter. But I will say the wired headphones kind of match the vintage, like, indie aesthetic, if that's what you're into. Following headphones, we have hats. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> we have hats or headpieces. I don't really know what to call them, but stuff that goes on your head, like bandanas. The reason I'm mentioning them now, pretty far down the line, is because I barely wear hats or anything to cover my head. I like my luscious hair on display, my thick, voluptuous Asian hair that is pinned straight. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really wear a hat unless my cut is absolutely clapped. But yeah, I mean, they're a pretty solid accessory when it's hot outside and maybe like you forget to put sunscreen on, you start freaking out like a lola. You think your skin's gonna start slowly deteriorating every minute you're outside and you're just gonna be flesh and bones like Johnny Storm in Deadpool by the time you come back home. It's not that deep, bro. Like, honestly, I like, like I said, I like to display my hair, especially if it's longer. I think it looks better than covering it with a hat. However, if you're gonna make me wear a hat, my choice would be baseball caps. Uh, I mean, there's like trucker hats, there's snapbacks, bucket hats, messenger boy hats, I forgot what they're called, but like, there's a variety of hats out there. I just like, baseball caps because of the curved brim that's my hat of choice if i have to choose usually i'm not going to be wearing a hat like i said though so i mean no point in really talking about them any further oh yeah and then for an honorable mention we have scarves but i mean scarves are cool and all but like rarely is it ever cold enough in los angeles to have to wear a scarf the last time i started wearing a scarf in winter like i tried it out for a little bit and i literally started sweating so like <laughs> drip or drown i'm choosing drown dude like that scarf didn't add that much extra aura to my outfit and i just started scratching my neck and started sweating my balls off so like i mean like yeah there's other accessories you can use like oh guys there's a hole in my sock this is a brand new sock bro what the hell yeah, i mean there's stuff like pant chains wallet chains like unique belts ties but I, I just listed accessories that you can use on the daily, you know, stuff that you're going to use all the time and you can use to every single outfit, no matter the aesthetic. Um, like ties, I don't really see somebody using a tie every single day unless you're like heavy into business core or something. That's not really realistic. I mean, if you wear business core every single day, you're addicted to the bread, bro. You need help. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up all the accessories I can think of that are important to your outfits. So, Daddy Justin out. Catch this BBL later. I'll see you guys in the next video.